กว่าจะมีคนที่ดีดีสักคนยอมอุทิศตนเพื่อคนส่วนใหญ่กว่าจะเจอคนที่เราเห็นว่าเป็นคนชาย Anybody else have one they want me to read, or I can come down if you want me to look at your paper. I will go over it with you. You study with us sometimes. I know, I know. You are a flying monk. You fly here, you fly there, you fly everywhere. Okay. But just remember one thing. Maybe he taught you how to pronounce the words properly. Maybe he taught you a story you remember. And then the last paragraph, teach him thank you so much for coming. We hope to see you next year. Only child. Only child. Okay, it means only child. One child in the family. I am the only child. I have no siblings, no brother and sister. Yeah. Students, any of the idioms that we gave, only child, like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, any of those idioms you can put in your paragraph or your sentences on your family. Kondia, that's, yes, only <laughs> child Kondia means the same. I knew you were a new face. I like cats. Dogs. Good. Two peas. Two peas in a pod. I hope somebody writes the idiot two peas in a pod. Yes, I like it. Is anybody ready for me to read out their sentences so the class can hear? Are you ready? Oh, come on. I don't know. Tomorrow we will be on the bus at 5:30, and some of you will still be in the class writing. Oh, I think there's some work. Let me take a look. I can see. Okay. I have one sister and two brothers, but they are long-distance relatives. So we put S at the end because you're supposed to have two people or relatives. Good. I have one son, Wu Tai. He is a very good version, my son. 
My son has time. Has time. Has time. Has time. He has one daughter, but she is the baby in the family. That be good. I need this. Students, another wonderful paragraph. Oh, I want to go back to America very happy. And now my students can write English very well. Okay. Next time I come, maybe if I am lucky, I can stay a longer period of time and we can spend more time, whole class on writing. I have one sister and two brothers. They are long distant relatives. Remember that idiom more? A long distant relative means a relative who lives far away. Maybe they live in Chiang Rai, maybe they live in Phuket. They don't live near me. I have one son. He is my own flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. Good. My son has tied the knot. My son has tied the knot. What does the idiom to tie the knot mean? Okay, so it happened already. He got married. To tie the knot means to get married, but if it already happened, you can say, he tied the knot, meaning maybe yesterday he got married, maybe last year. Next sentence we will see. He has one daughter, so she is the, of the family. The baby of the family. The baby, good, she is the baby of the family. So see students, you can write a very interesting paragraph when you use idioms. Instead of just saying, I have one brother, I have one sister, I have one wife, I have one. You can use the idioms, it makes the paragraph more interesting. He is my flesh and blood. She is the baby of the family. Okay? Makes your writing and when you speak a little bit, a lot more interesting. Very good paragraph. Oh, you make me happy.